everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be continuing my series of trick dog title tricks. Um, and the next one is doggy push ups. So, a doggy push up is basically a sit, lay down, sit, lay down, sit, lay down, sit, lay down. And how you do that is by first having a release word. Because a lot of mistakes people make is as soon as they, their dog gets, gives them what they want, they get a treat. And then the dog goes, okay, I'm done. And then they abandon. And then the other thing is, is then if they don't get that treat right away, they're like, why am I working? So instead, I teach my dog that she has to work for me. She'll get treats and praise, but she is not done until I release her with the free command. So I'm a free, go free. And this is something I either have recorded or I'm going to record in a different video because the release word, there's a lot of stuff behind that. Um, but anyways, well, that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about um, doggy push-ups. But I just kind of want to give you a little background on what might help you out to teach this. So anyways, doggy push-ups, ammo front, is it's a lot of just back and forth. And this is where your dog has to have that tolerance for doing multiple tricks in a row. So starting off, just ammo lay down, ammo sit. Good. And just do one lay down, one back up to sit, over and over and over again. And you might have to lure back up to the sit, because going back up to a sit from a lay down is kind of tricky. Then if your dog does that well, ammo lay down, ammo sit, ammo lay down, ammo sit. Good. And just add one more push up each time. This is something that's also really good for your dog's health. It'll help build their core. So definitely I encourage just doing this. It's not a hard thing to do. It's just something your dog might lose patience after a while. So we have to build up that patience. So even if you just practice this a couple times a day with just one push up, and then the next day practice it a couple of times a day with two push ups, and then three push ups. And then if your dog ever reaches a threshold where they're like, I can't do anymore, always ask them to give you one more push up, give them loads of treats, and then be done. And then don't push them to do more until that threshold increases. So then after that, we'll try three. Ammo lay down, ammo sit, ammo lay down, ammo sit, ammo lay down. Good. So see, she's kind of getting tired. I mean, it's a warmer day. We've been <laughs> recording a lot of videos. This is a, a, a later one in the series of videos I'm recording today. Um, but I do kind of want to see if she reaches her own threshold so that that way I can show you how to push past that. So Emma, sit, sit, lay down, sit, lay down, sit, lay down. Oh my gosh, a bird flew over there, it's getting, lay down, sit, lay down, good, sit, lay down, sit, lay down. Sit, lay down, sit, lay down, such a good girl, sit, so see this is her first, so then we just help her up, good, sit, and I just always push her one more than what she wants to do, and then she gets a treat right away, but if you have to use a treat as a lure for the last one, that's okay, just make sure it happens, if your dog is really struggling from going from a lay down to a sit, and a lift, another thing you can do is just kind of and just kind of get your foot underneath them and go, ah, oh, sit, sit, and just make it uncomfortable. Obviously, I go over her a lot, so this is like whatever, Dana. Come on, sit. Ammo, sit. Good. And just do what you need to do to help your dog out. Obviously, we're not kicking the dog. We're not hurting them in any way. We're just helping them, giving them hints and making lay down a little uncomfortable so that they go, you know, I'd rather be sitting anyways. And then when they do sit, wow, wasn't that so much easier? Here's a big treat for that. So that is how you teach doggy push-ups. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.